Well, welcome. Uh, if you want to take just a minute and pull this card out, we're in a little series called Growing in Christ. And uh, this little paradigm here, or wheel, is a, a description about um, how to live the Christian life and how to keep Christ the center. But before uh, we talk about that, I want to give a, a brief update. A lot of people have asked, I hurt my back, and I don't want to give you some big medical explanation, but let me tell you sort of what's happened, where I'm at, and first say thank you for praying. I've gotten just an outpouring of prayers and emails and letters, and thank you very much. So kind of three things going on. Apparently, I've got a you know, a whole uh, vertebrae that is, you know, about a half inch off, and uh, that destabilizes things. Then I have a herniated vertebrae, which causes quite a bit of pain. And then probably the most serious is uh, near the bottom of my spine. Uh, it's, it's very, very narrow, and somehow it started to really push in on that nerve, causing, you know, numbness and weakness in my legs. So here's, the, here's where I'm at on that. Number one, pray. Uh, number two, for the month of February, I have to just stop. So this will be brief because I can only sit for five or 10 minutes. I'm usually laying down or walking slowly. And, um, but I've got great care, a great uh, orthopedic doctor there at Kaiser, uh, an amazing um, chiropractic doctor here from our church who a very specialized method for herniated discs that she's trained in, and then a physical therapist. And so I'm on this regimen. I'm now able to do some little exercises. I'm making progress. But I will not teach in February. I'll come back to teach in March. And uh, they've told me uh, the next two or three months, I have to really be pretty careful. So um, if you want an appointment and things like that, uh, don't think about March. So I'll be teaching, and then um, we'll probably have to use a video in March, and uh, maybe a little while after that, a little bit more than normal. But that's just kind of want you to know kind of what's going on, what's happening. Um, you know, I knew this was going to be a great series from John. I just didn't know how much I was going to need it, that I can actually be strong when I'm weak. And I've laid on my back, and I have memorized all these verses and thought them through multiple, multiple times, and just really have an impact in my mind. And I've realized that, you know, um, God doesn't need me. He needs me to hear Him and grow and walk with Him, and uh, He has decided in His sovereignty. I believe He can heal me like that should He choose to. I'm seeing some little progress, which is very encouraging. But um, he also wants me to be in fellowship, but he wants me to be his witness. And, uh, you know, we've talked about all these different spokes, and this week is the one on witnessing. And it's very interesting that the Greek word for witness, are you ready? It's martyr. Uh, Jesus told the disciples that you'll be my witnesses. And uh, witnesses is not something you do, it's something that you are. And so I'm either a good witness or a bad witness. And witnessing has two major forms. Um, the testimony or the witness of Christ as I go through life, people observe my life, my work, my integrity, my marriage. How do I go through suffering? And the other part is a verbal explanation of the hope that's in me. And that's why Romans uh, chapter 1, verse 16, I love this verse we're memorizing. Paul would say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God to salvation, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And I'm not ashamed. It's the good news. It's powerful. And you are a witness. I'm a witness. And my prayer is that I will be able to listen to what God is teaching us through John and that his power would be manifested in my weakness and that my attitude, you can pray this, that I would rejoice or exalt in my weakness, difficulty, affliction, that when I am weak, I might be strong because the power of Christ would be manifested in me. So uh, there's a verse in the scripture that says, be still and know that I'm God. And there's another passage in Psalm 23 that says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Well, guess what? Uh, I am lying down in green pastures. I'm deeply loved. My wife is awesome. And so would you please continue to pray for me, pray for John in the series, and I will look forward to seeing you in March where we will uh, launch some new teaching. God bless you and keep pressing ahead.